Yeah. Some rice. That's probably not a good thing to put on a. Yes, sir. You know. You know, frying French fries with the Denver Broncos. <laughs> you know. Fresh cut. Fresh cut fries. We're both relatively new. This is my this is my sixth year here as uh, as a dietitian. But as far as our operation here, this is it's been two months long. So the interaction is 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 almost every single hour. We're always he's always asking questions to me, and I'm always making sure that, that things are going to go smoothly. And, and and but he does a great job. I mean, I allow him to to really have as much creative license as he can because that's this is his area of expertise. So as long as it fits in the nutritional parameters, uh, we bounce ideas off of each other on an hour basis, basically. bigger guys still have to really focus on what they're putting in their body and really really looking at what they're putting in their body as fuel just like a like like you're putting gas in a gas tank uh, for a for a Ferrari I mean you don't want to put the the worst kind of of, of fuel in a, in, a, in a car when it's you know that, that expensive and that much of an investment and that's how they really have to look at it from their perspective as well so even though they're bigger guys and they, they can consume a lot of calories uh, they still have to make sure that they're they're focusing on lean proteins, complex carbohydrates, increasing their fruits and vegetables to uh, give the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effect that we're trying to look for, um, because they're they're constantly in a in a in a state where they're they're um, you know, trying to get recovered, whether it's practices or whether it's lifts. So that that's really you know what we're trying to, to focus on uh, with the nutrition department, while also providing the best tasting food. Uh, so I write all the menus, but I also allow the chefs to have some creative license as long as it fits into the nutritional par parameters that I set. So as long as it's, uh, you know, fits into that, that realm of, of lean proteins um, and good carbohydrates, fruits, vegetables, you know, the salad bar is always fully stocked, uh, then that's, that's really what we're, what we're going for. The nutritionist Brian Schneider does a great job in uh, putting carbs and protein in certain situations and, um, I just think he does a great job at it and uh, keeps us healthy, keeps us fresh, and uh, keeps us moving throughout the season. The feedback's been great. The, the catering company that we've used for so many years, they did a great job for us, but being able to uh, control all of our ingredients and being able to make something on the fly if we don't have something that the, that the players want, if they want a, a fresh uh, piece of fish or they want um, mussels or crab cakes or something like that, we have the ability to make it on, on the spot for them. So, uh, it really prevents guys from feeling like they have to go outside of our building to, to go get lunch. If, if we don't have something on the training table, basically they would they'd go out and get their own food, which would usually be some kind of fast food. So now we have the ability, like a restaurant, to be able to make something right there on the spot for them. The food's great. The food's great. Uh, they switched it up a little bit this year. You know, I know we were getting catered last year, but now I think the food is cooked here. It's fresh. and. You know, it's probably part of the reason why we're playing so well right now. So is Terrence Knight never requested pot roast? <laughs> hey, uh, I, I'm not even going to go down that road. I can't even go. I, I'm not, I'm not going to, I can't go into that. But yeah, he's got to still eat enough calories to make sure that, he, you know, he's, he's burning plenty of calories on the field. So he still has to make sure he's, he's taking in uh, enough calories. Absolutely. And that goes just for the entire defensive line and offensive line as a whole. The most popular things are like the salmon. Uh, any of the fresh fish. If we don't have fish on the training table, guys ask for it. So uh, that could be, uh, I guess the salmon is, 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 the, is the biggest thing. So uh, salmon's always asked for. We always get, uh, um, you know, fried chicken. We still get, you know, requests like that. And, and, and my philosophy is every once in a while, you still got to do that. You still got to, you still got to treat them every once in a while. As long as it's the right time during the week and it's going to be okay as from, from a performance standpoint. Guys that go to a college where there's a dietitian there, uh, when they get up to the NFL, then they already know what I do. They already know that I can talk to them about supplementation, and I can talk to them about walking them through the training table and, and putting the best fuel in their bodies. And so, um, usually, you know, and the and the veterans are the other thing. Guys that have been around for a long time, they understand that 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 this is what they do. This is their career. This is their livelihood. And so they know the importance of of good nutrition and hydration. And I love my job. I, mean, I, don't, I don't look at it as a as a job at all. I mean, I've born and raised in a, in a gym and parents are coaches and, and this is all that I know and so being able to come in and work with athletes every day is a, is a dream come true for me.